Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to clarify something. Hi, I'm Clara Clarification. Whether or not you believe in a non-binary gender, a lot of other people are going to believe in a non-binary gender especially those who consider themselves non-binary. You're not going to stop them from believing in that. You're not. And you don't have any sort of smoking gun to prove them wrong. Um, you know, whether or not it's a real thing or not, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, people believe that it is, and it's becoming something that... It's, it's become a common narrative... So, I mean, and they're not hurting anybody. I mean, what does it hurt anyone? It doesn't. You know, whether or not you believe in it or not, you know, they're not hurting anyone. The only time they have the potential to hurt someone is when they're giving guilt trips because someone misgendered them. So, why not take away the thing that would allow them to give guilt trips for misgendering them. If we add the gender-neutral pro pronouns into our language in all the, you know, in all the grammatical ways that we can, um, you know, and, and you know, try to make sure, I mean, let's get some linguists to create the words so we don't end up having, I'm, I'm sorry, I think Zim, Zer, I think that it sounds ridiculous, but, you know, maybe that will end up being what we go with. But I'm hoping we can have something that, that's a little better than that. But, uh... You know, just add some more words to the language. We'll probably end up using those words most of the time. Um To describe someone that we don't know their gender, and now we can actually use a uh, a singular uh, pronoun instead of having to use a plural pronoun for people that we don't know their gender. I think it would improve uh, a communication in a lot of ways. I don't see anything negative about it, about adding, you know, more words like that. I think it can only help. And if people are going to say, well, you know, um, this is making it more difficult on us. Well, you know, the same thing was said when, uh, you know, we we started to, to refer to, instead of mailman, it was a mail carrier. Um, you know, policeman is a, a police officer. Uh, you know, a, a lot of different uh, words over the years have changed like that. And a lot of people complained the same way that people are, are, would, are complaining now about the potential of adding more words into our language. Oh, where does it stop? It doesn't stop. It won't stop. New words are going to continue to be added to the language. New things are going to continue to happen that try to have us considering more uh, cultures, viewpoints, etc. I see this as only potentially doing good for us to add these kind of words into our language. To me, it only makes sense. Now, maybe it doesn't to you, and if it doesn't to you, and you feel that it's totally different than, than when we've changed other things to be more gender neutral, then, you know, please explain in the comments. If, if you just, you're just so against this, explain why. You know, I think adding new words is a hell of a lot better than modifying old words. To me, I mean, if a word has had the same definition for, you know, 50 years or more, then it should, it should remain having that definition. You know, and if it's a word, you know, that's, that's uh, changed a bunch of times uh, in the past 50 years, then, you know, yeah, you know, let that, those words change. But, you know, you, you change the language and you change the culture. And if you change the definitions of words, it's a very underhanded way of changing the culture to me. So adding new words, I think, is a lot better than modifying the meanings of old words.